good, y'all? I'm back here with another banger video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all my 2020... What? My 2023 back to school wish list. And that's right, y'all. I'm going to be putting y'all on to all the drip. And I actually did not even want to make this video for real, because I didn't want nobody stealing my swag, you know, trying to go get it at like they was on it way first, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, I'm interested. Oh, and let me just make a little disclaimer here. Um, I'm going to be doing a back to school haul. And this is not the back to school haul. This is just like me. This is just my wish list. And then I'm also going to take y'all along back to school shopping in stores with me for school supplies and clothes, all that. So just stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's get right into this video. So first things first is I've been wanting some stacked jeans or like some stacked sweats. And yeah, you know, I'm going to insert a picture right here. And you can get those from this little Instagram brand called Wappy. I think it's called something like that. Or Minimal. And I actually just want to get like everything from Minimal. Everything on a site is fire. So if you do not know of Minimal, my back to school haul is going to be full of that. So yeah. And also some um, flare sweats as well. Y'all know like the little gallery depth looking jumps. Um, let me show you a picture right here. Yeah. And those are from Minimal too. So I want to go ahead and cop me a pair of them as well. And then next thing up, I've been wanting one of these is an Essentials hoodie. Yeah. So they have this little one. It's like, um, it says 1977 on it. Yeah, I'm interested in getting that one. But these hoodies be like $100 a pop, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. So yeah, there's that one. And then y'all know just like the regular tan Essentials one that said in black. And then they had like the Essentials Fair God one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get yet, but... I'm going to definitely let y'all know when we get to them. And then I also wanted to get like multiple hoodies from um, some IG brands. Um, I'll insert them right here. You know, that's super fire. And then, but like, that's $70. And then there's um, this one little one from Pat Sun. It's kind of hard. I'll insert that right here. You know, that's real fire. So just like um, different hoodies from IG brands and stuff like that. Because, you know, them is super popular right now. Those are real hard for all the fits. And yeah. Next thing up is these little parachute nylon cargo pants. And I think they got they got them at like a few different places, but the ones I'm gonna get them from is Fashion Noble, Noble Men. And yeah, I insert them. Them ones are mad hard. They like nylon, parachute, feel me, all in one. Nah, hopefully them, hopefully like they're gonna be as good as I imagine when they get here. Because sometimes like I be having this little vision in my head, and then I get the clothes or put the outfit on, and it don't be as good, you know. So, yeah, hopefully those fit as nice as I want them to. And then, yeah. So next thing up is graphic wrap tees. Y'all know, if you all got the graphic wrap tees, get them to me. I want all the graphic wrap tees, and just like this one right here, you know, this is a little Nirvana jump. But I'm gonna insert the pictures on the ones on the screen I want. And yeah, there go some fire ones right there. I gotta get my hands on them because you know. Really with the graphic wrap tees, you can just throw that on with some cargos or some like flare jeans, anything like that. Throw it on with the Jordans, the any sneakers like Yeezys, anything like that. And it's going to make a fire fit. You can dress it up, dress it down. And yeah, next thing up is I just want like a perfect black hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Like just a nice fitted, thick black hoodie that's going to keep you warm. It's going to look nice and sleek. And I don't want like no lines in it, no designs, no nothing. Just plain fitted. Well, it could be, like, um, oversized, but still fitted. Like, it's difference between fitted and oversized. Type of so, yeah, definitely that. And, y'all, I will go, like, I just been looking for, like, the perfect black hoodie for so long. And some of y'all gonna be like, but it's just, like, it's a black hoodie. What are you talking about? Not, nah, like, a perfect black hoodie. And I'm gonna find me one, y'all. And y'all gonna see it in the hall. I'm definitely gonna find me one. And let's talk about shoes. Y'all know what I'm saying? Um, I do not know which shoes I'm going to get. I'm so indecisive. And I really have my mind on like some Rick Owens. Actually, like, I just don't even know which pair of Rick Owens. If I do end up getting them, there's like the Rick Owens Lowe's. And then there's like these little abstract jumps with these jumbo laces. Them ones fire. I'm not even going to hold y'all. But... I posted them on my Instagram story and said, like, fire or trash. Y'all was not feeling them, y'all. Yeah, them just fire. Y'all just don't know how to drink. But we're not even going to get on that one. And then there was another one, um, just like the plain race that everybody got already. So then, 
that's my options for risk. And then I've also been like looking at Jordans and stuff, but like I said, I just don't know. Like I have a few in mind, maybe like the Bread Fours or the Black Canvas Fours. And then um, I just really want like some designer shoes. Like I'm kind of like, let's upgrade from the Jordans, you feel me? So there's these Amiri sneakers that is hard and they like the skeleton, they black and white skeleton feet. But I just feel like those is really similar to the black white dunks. That's why I don't know about them. And then maybe just like some Yeezys, like some gray 500s or some all black Yeezys, something smooth like that, just to throw on with every fit. Cause I'm in need of an all black shoe. Let me show y'all. So these are the black shoes that I've been rocking with. I think I got these. I've been had these shoes like literally like two or three years now. And y'all see it's like an all black shoe. I could just throw it on with anything, but I'm needing to upgrade that. Cause I'm probably gonna go out of them soon. And yeah, so they have some um, all black New Balances 202R pack, but like when you put them on, um, they not black for real, they like gray. And that's a problem with a lot of the black shoes. Cause also the black foam, the foam runners, I would get them, but like they gray in person. That's the only problem. Yeah, but yo, I'm really just gonna have to like make my mind up on some shoes and just go with it and stop being so indecisive on everything. Like I just gotta, you know, just figure something out but let me know down in the comments what shoes y'all think i should cop it's like i really want the ricks but y'all already know ricks is mad expensive so i say it's between them and oh i, I didn't tell y'all about um the black new balances i was talking about they also had them ones in gray and them is fire so those could possibly be an option but i think i would prefer the gray 500s more and then what else is an option? Um, I don't know y'all, but let's get on. So, next thing's next is a book bag. So y'all know, y'all know all y'all wanna all y'all wanna rock this little spray ground book bag. And I've been on the spray ground train, had me a little love spray ground thing, and I just fell apart. The straps fell apart on it, the zippers broke on it, the the, the leather was peeling off, and I only had it for like one school year or something like that. I don't, I don't even think it made it through the whole school year before it was wide open. And so on that note, currently I've been rocking with the little black jam sport. It's just simple, but um, I'm just ready to upgrade to something nicer this year. So what I've had my mind on is this black coach book bag inserted picture right here. And yeah, it's like leather, it's all that. So when we go back to school shopping, I'm gonna go to the coach store and hopefully buy it in store as long as I like it, as long as it's like spacious enough, it looks good, and it's everything it looks like online, then that's the book that I'm probably gonna end up getting. And yeah, last thing is some new cologne. Yeah, I need to get me some new cologne for school because I pretty much like went through my favorites already. And yeah, I'm just kind of like using some random stuff I got. But um, I've been looking at the Byredo cologne. Wait, what am I talking about? I meant the Dossier cologne. Y'all know I have been looking at that for a while now. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and get that. But um, I'm still wanting to invest in like a designer cologne, but I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm so set on like getting a black and white cologne so I can like display it on the nightstand or somewhere over there on my dresser. And like, so some of the options would be like Blue Day Chanel, um, Savage Dior, and yeah, the Vibrato does make one, but probably not on my list. And yeah, that's pretty much like the only black and white ones that I got a chance to be in my collection. Cause yeah, all the other ones, like there's this Valentino one that smelled really good, but it's like freaking black and neon green. <laughs> so yeah, probably won't be getting that one. But that's it for this video and like I said there will be a bad to school shopping video for clothes and then I'll probably just include the bad to school supply shopping in that same video and then we're gonna do a bad to school haul I'm probably gonna um, do a video of what's in my hold on I can't tell y'all too much now just stay tuned so I'm gonna see y'all in the next video don't forget to comment like subscribe turn post notification bell button on so you can be notified every single time I post and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video Bye.